going on guys? Just woke up. I'm gonna start making my breakfast now. So what I'm doing this morning, I've got my free run omega eggs. So I'm gonna do seven whole eggs. I've got asparagus, mushrooms, and how I make my omelets is I get my macadamia nut oil. Weigh it out, 20 grams, there, Perfect. then I fry up the veggies before I put the eggs in. The mushrooms, I use the stems, so I don't want to waste any part of it. Just make sure obviously that it's clean. Sometimes I'll put onions in there as well, but I don't have any onions right now. But I've been really enjoying the asparagus and mushroom combination. So I let those fry up for a minute. I'm gonna start cracking my eggs, getting that ready. Okay. And so we're gonna do seven eggs. Because these are just regular sized large size eggs are not extra large or anything. Now normally my favorite eggs right now are the ones from JW, Albert's Eggs, because they're from the farm. And there is a difference. You can see a difference in the actual color of the yolks when they're farm fresh eggs and they're free run and you know when it's a better quality, the actual egg yolk will be uh, more of a dark orange rather than uh, a bright yellow. So even with these ones, these ones are just from Metro, they're still a little bit darker. It's like a darker yellow rather than a bright yellow, but it's not orange. So I know that it's not as good as the ones fresh off the farm, but it's gonna do for today. This is ready, the veggies will be good. Okay, use a spatula just because you don't want to leave any gains in the bowl. And then how I make my omelets is I find it very easy because I make such a big omelet that even a large, a large spatula might not do the trick in terms of flipping it properly. So what I'll do is I'll cover it and then when it's cooked almost all the way through, 
I'll just flip it over into the other pan, finish cooking it that way. Alright guys. So here's the full meal. We've got the omelette with asparagus and mushrooms, seven eggs, 20 grams of macadamia nut oil, and then I've got two pieces of celery, 20 grams of cashew butter, and a little bit of that sugar-free ketchup to go with it. All right, let's eat. All right, guys, we got the next meal going down right now. So this is meal two for today. So in the pan, I've got 10 ounces of fish. I'm eating a haddock right now. 10 ounces of haddock. Got four ounces of green beans, 15 grams of almonds, 20 grams of macadamia nut oil. And then I'm also gonna add this avocado. I'm gonna weigh that out. So let's get to it. For spices, what I like to put on there is my clubhouse seasoning. It's a barbecue, salt free. And then I put on also just a no name Italian seasoning. And then I'll do one eighth of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt on there. And then I'm going to top that off with the avocado. So we got 99 grams of avocado. Just gonna put that right on top. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of hot sauce. And a little bit of that sugar free ketchup. There we go. Meal two. Well, in terms of uh, for Robin, we're just going to work on uh, releasing some of his tight tightness in his lower back, uh, legs, uh, upper back, and uh, just kind of get, get some more blood flow going for him. Um, he trains really, really hard, lots of poundage each week, so we've got to make sure I'm keeping him healthy, make sure he's staying flexible, and uh, to be able to get a good range of motion for his lifts. Absolutely, so, you know, if you want to check him out, where can you find uh, your social media, Andrew? Uh, just on Instagram, uh, at Andrew underscore Cleary, and uh, you can probably find me on Robin's page too. Yep, so I'll, uh, I'll post his Instagram below, you can get a hold of him. So far, we've, uh, we've done one session, and it's, it's been like amazing, so I'm looking forward to this one and uh, we'll take you through uh, a couple of the stretches as we go.
against the glutes really well. Same thing, press in, and exhale. Alright guys, we're back home now. It's time to eat again. So I'm going to get my next meal ready. So what I'm going to do for this meal, 20 grams of macadamia nut oil. I'm going to do some eggplant with this. I've got 100 grams of sweet potato and 100 grams of kale. I'm going to start frying that up. I'll wash this. And we're going to slice up this eggplant. So it does have, you know, an actual use, the eggplant does, besides just being used as an emoji. I love this stuff. Since uh, Sam bought one, she brought it home, forgot about it for a little while, then I ended up eating it. Now I think it's one of my favorite veggies. So I got 150 grams of eggplant right here. I'm going to put that in. And then just cover it up so it cooks a little faster. And then I'm going to get my steak, which is already pre-cooked. And I'm going to do 10 ounces of steak. Steak. And this one here is a top sirloin cut, so it's pretty lean. That's why for this meal I'm adding extra fats through the macadamia nut oil. The reason why I use macadamia nut oil is for the monounsaturated fats and also for the flavor. I really prefer the flavor of the macadamia nut oil over something like an olive oil. 
most of the time. Uh, olive oil goes really well with certain foods, but macadamia nut oil goes well with almost everything I found. So I like to use it a lot. Now, I want to get these veggies cooked up a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and just throw this steak in there too. When you're using top sirloin, it's a, it's a lean cut, but it also has a decent amount of tenderness. So I cook my steak to a medium rare, and then I put it in the fridge, and then when I go to reheat it in the pan, or if I have to go and use a microwave or something, it doesn't get too chewy. But if you use a top sirloin, generally it won't overcook too much to the point where it's like, you know, a flank steak where it's just ridiculously chewy. That's why I would prefer to use a top sirloin over a flank. Um, but it's, you know, it's personal preference when it comes down to steak choices. If I had to pick my favorite steak, it would be the New York strip loin steak. But it does have a little bit more fat, so it just depends on what your macros are. Obviously, I'm not saying you should stay away from fats because I use a lot of fats in my diet. And then the last thing I'm going to add is going to be an avocado. So same deal as before. I'm going to cut it open and then weigh it out. Avocado again, the reason why I use avocado, good balance of monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats, but I gotta admit, it's all about the taste. It's an off season. I won't, I probably won't eat avocados very often on pre-contest because I don't wanna be buying them all the time and preparing them all the time because they go bad pretty fast. I like to keep things a little bit more simple on my contest prep. So I usually will just stick to macadamia oil, coconut oil, and just leave it at that. But in the off season, have a little bit more fun with your food. So you can go ahead, you can use things like avocado, you can use things like, you know, like on my other meal, you put nuts in with the food and cook your nuts in with the food and it gives it a little bit more of a texture, crunch and things like that. So when we're talking off season and even pre-contest, it doesn't have to be bland food that you're choking down all the time. You need a variety, different colors, different flavors, and that's going to make not only your brain happy, your gut happy, but it's also going to help with cravings. It's also going to help with getting your food down if you have to eat a lot of food. So that's that guys. I'm going to plate this up and show you in a second. So here it is. We've got our beef, which is the top sirloin, 10 ounces. We've got our sweet potatoes, we've got our kale, we've got our eggplant, and we've got the avocado. Now, in terms of spices, flavorings, on this one I put some oregano, I put some salt-free barbecue chicken, and salt-free steak spice. Now, the reason why I use the salt free is because I like to calculate my salt so I always will use roughly around the same amount of salt but hey it's the off season so if I want to put a pinch more salt it's not going to kill me especially around training time maybe a little bit more salt when I'm training and then the last thing that I like to have is my apple cider vinegar so let's eat we're gonna go from meal number five now. So I'm weighing up my oil, mac nut oil again, 20 grams in the pan. And we're gonna do some greens, some fish, 
and some nuts. So I've got my green beans. Then we're going to do green beans. Here we've got five ounces of green beans. And we're going to do two ounces of this Mirepoix mix, which has diced carrots, celery, and onions. And I don't do a lot of this because I'm not a big fan of the carrots, but I like the celery and onions, and uh, a little bit of sugar from carrots isn't gonna kill you in the off season. And then I get my fish here. And we're gonna go 10 ounces of haddock in there. This is a really, really simple meal. Like most of my meals, they don't really take too long to cook. I just try to be efficient. But I also want it to taste good, obviously. So we're gonna do that. Plus some natural raw almonds. And I'm going to do 30 grams of the almonds. And I actually like to put them in there with the food. Like I was saying, it gives it a little bit of texture. So 30 grams of almonds is not a whole lot. One thing I really like to add in is raw, unpasteurized sauerkraut. And this stuff is great for digestion, plus I'm half Ukrainian and sauerkraut is something that I grew up with. So in terms of making it more delicious, sauerkraut is definitely the way to go. I'm going to spice this meal up with a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of turmeric. A little bit of cinnamon. And then I'm going to top it off with Clubhouse Maple Bacon. If you guys haven't tried the Maple Bacon, highly recommended. Definitely one of my favorites. I don't really use it on prep, but I do use it a lot in the off season. And I'm also a big fan of the Southwest Chipotle Mrs. Dash. We're gonna mix this all up. Okay, 
That's almost ready. So, see you guys in a second when I'm plating it. There it is, guys. So we got 10 ounces of haddock, 5 ounces of green beans, 3 ounces of the Mirepoix mix, 20 grams of macadamia nut oil, 30 grams of almonds, and then I'm going to finish off my sauerkraut here. The sauerkraut I don't really weigh. It's only a few grams of carbs and it's the off season, so everything else I weigh. The sauerkraut I just kind of use a tablespoon or two, and then I top it off with my salt. And that's it. Got my animal EAAs to drink on the side, and we're ready to eat. What's up guys? Doing our last meal of the day. So, my last meal is almost just like my first meal. Six egg omelet. Sorry, this is a seven egg omelet with my mushrooms, my asparagus, and I'm doing, instead of macadamia nut oil to fry the eggs, 20 grams of grass-fed butter, so we've got the omelet right here, I'm going to put a little bit of ketchup on this, and then I'm going to take my nighttime supplements. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. I've got fish oil, I've got CoQ10, I've got magnesium, I got zinc, I got garlic, I've got quercetin, um, I've got cranberry extract, I've got my animal pack, I've got my animal flex, and I've got my Unilever from Universal. And Meg. Meg is here. We're gonna go and we're gonna watch some TV wind down for tonight and we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Say bye. Say bye.